Morning. Uh, my name is David Britton, and this is Anton. He's a four-year-old. Um, we've broken ourselves, and, and so far I've done everything uh, in-house. Um, this is his current bridle. It's a grapple with a, a full-cheek snapple, um, which he has been ridden in pretty much from when we broke him in. Uh, we struggled a little bit with the forwardness initially, um, and we thought it was just down to being in the arena. So we got out into the big field, and he became more forward, but we were still lacking that real connection um, and, and the forwardness in the contact. So we posted on Facebook looking for a bridle to help um, anatomically around the ears to make sure we had a, a lighter amount of pole pressure and to encourage a more forward horse naturally without having to put more leg on and ride it harder. Um, and we got a, a message from Kirsty Johnson at Four Lock and Low. Uh, she very much is an advocate for Steuben bridles, especially the Steuben Freedom bridle, which is very different, very modern, uh, with a lot of research having gone into the bridle. So we will come to that later in the video. Um, but I thought I'd show you some basic walk, trot, and canter in his current bridle, um, and we'll look to hope to see if we can find a difference in the other bridle in the second half of the video. But he should be a little bit more forward in the second half without me having to put any more leg on his side. So let's see how we go. Just to point out that this horse has only done a free walk on a long rein. My name's Dawn Britnell. I'm David's mother, trainer, chief cook and bottle washer, nagger. Um, it's a lovely young horse that we bought from Monarch Sales. Um, last November as a three-year-old. This horse um, has always had a slightly short neck, short frame, tight feeling in the in the contact. I would stress that we don't do much at all with the baby horses in the arena as David says as soon as they can walk trot and vaguely control themselves then they go out hacking um, and that's what's very much happened to this one because he has got a, a slight feeling of not always being quite forward thinking enough. Um, the anatomical bridle, the freedom bridle, I hated the idea of quite frankly because it looks a little bit different and I think that was the general consensus when David first got it out of the packet. But, so this horse has just always tended in the in his work to canter that a bit this way with the pole up and back um, the trot wasn't really very loose in the shoulder and the big thing well I won't spoil the surprise but certainly the big thing for us was the difference in those particular two aspects in the freedom bridle he is only four he has only been back to okay, so second half uh, now in the Steuben freedom bridle um, as you can see it is quite a different design um, with advantages over a standard bridle um, with regard to the top here where the pole is there's actually the way it's designed there's a gap um, so there's no actual pressure on the pole itself the amount of room he has between the ears when it's set on properly is huge amounts so you don't get any pressure around the ears which can very often cause a horse to be uh, uncomfortable and then down the side of the face, the way it's designed, it doesn't run down too close to the eye, which can sometimes be a problem with the grackle bridle, but more importantly, where the nerves run down the face, you don't get the pressure of the cheek pieces. It's all about the rhythm and the balance there. Don't let him hurry. And that um, hurrying is something that we've never had before with this horse. He's never drawn that forward that we've had to think of regulating and slowing him. It's always been, put your leg on, David, get him going forward, David. Um, whereas, as you can see now, it isn't. And I think the freedom is better. Do you want to just circle here? And so, um, run out of storage again. With a can to work. The horse is... Um, drawing forward better in this bridle, taking the bridle more forward, thinking more forward. We didn't really realise how much tension he was carrying in his pole before. He is only four, subject to losses of balance. All those things are 
Lovely baby horses. And he will occasionally come up above a bit into the canter. This isn't a dressage competition. We're trying to show you the difference in the bridle. He could be a little bit more communicative and a little bit more helpful rather than throwing his head in the air, but we like the fact that he's going forward more with a bigger, more expressive movement in the shoulder and the ability to come more under behind. Then if you want to just show a little bit of trot as well, up a little bit in the pole. <laughs> 